If you grew up in the Richmond area, I'm sure you've heard the name Maggie Walker. But I doubt you know the whole story of what she accomplished. Maggie Lena Walker was born two years after the Civil War ended to a mother who was a former slave. As a child, she and her mother supported themselves with the laundry business. Delivering clothes to the homes of rich white people made quite the impression on young Maggie about the economic divide between the races. After graduating school in 1893, she became a teacher. Three years later, she got married but was forced to quit because the school policy didn't allow married women to teach. Ridiculous! On the upside, she got more involved in the Order of St. Luke, an organization dedicated to the social and financial advancement of African Americans. Then at one point, St. Luke was in financial trouble, so Maggie took charge. She started a newspaper that promoted black entrepreneurship while tackling big issues like civil rights. She opened a clothing store downtown giving jobs to women. She pushed St. Luke's to expand in insurance and eventually started the St. Luke Penny Savings Bank. That made her the first African American woman to head up a bank in the U.S. Eventually, the bank expanded to multiple branches around the state. She really knew what she was doing. Like in 1929 when the stock market crashed, forcing many banks to close. Maggie Walker, now confined to a wheelchair, kept things going by merging with another bank and created Consolidated Bank and Trust. Consolidated survived the depression and went on for decades. Today, her home in Jackson Ward is a museum. She has a statue on Broad Street, and I'm sure you've heard of Maggie Walker's Governor School. Maggie Walker once said, don't sit down and wait for opportunities to come, get up and make them. She really did make things happen. Maggie Walker, our history is her story.